Trump hating senator tries to jump on shithole dog bile, one word has Democrats cringing. Trump hating senator Patrick Leahy, DVT, recently tried to jump on the shithole dog bile with a snarky comment aimed at Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jim Nielsen. Now, his fellow liberals are cringing after one word he said made it obvious that he needs to retire. It's amusing when politicians stick their foot in their own mouth or, in Leahy's case, both feet. Maybe the public would be a little more forgiving if the political elite weren't such hypocrites, but when a guy like Leahy forgets basic geography in front of our nation's leaders, it's just downright embarrassing. According to Daily Caller, Leahy's attempt to back his buddy lying Dickie Durbin, D.E.L ended in cringeworthy embarrassment after the senator from Illinois chided DHS Secretary Kirst Jim Nielsen for President Donald Trump's alleged comment that Haiti, El Salvador, and some African countries are shitholes. Leahy apparently let his excitement over the opportunity to be a jerk get the best of him. During his egotistical criticism of Trump, he forgot that Africa is a continent and not a country. You imply the president was articulating support for merit-based immigration systems like those in Australia or Canada, Leahy said. But when he denigrated Haiti and El Salvador, and Africa, a country where we are trying to have some ability to match China and others in influence, he said he wanted more people from Norway. After screwing up his big chance to look brilliant in front of the committee, Leahy made another attempt to say something profound. Being from Norway is not a skill. Leahy said. It's true, Norwegians don't possess some magical skill just because of their place of birth. I wonder how long Leahy contemplated that deep truth before sharing it with his colleagues. Since the shithole was started by Senator Dick Durbin, multiple politicians have come out in support of President Trump saying that the accusation isn't true. According to Breitbart, Senator Tom Cotton, R.R., appeared on CBS's Face the Nation recently to dispel Durbin's claim about Trump's comments about Haiti, El Salvador, and African nations. Cotton said, I didn't hear that word either. I certainly didn't hear what Senator Durbin has said repeatedly. Senator Durbin has a history of misrepresenting what happens in White House meetings, though, so perhaps we shouldn't be surprised by that. Cotton really put the nail in the coffin for Durbin after being pressed further on the show when he said, I didn't hear it. And I was sitting no farther away from Donald Trump than Dick Durbin was, and I know what Dick Durbin has said about the president's repeated statements is incorrect. The fact of the matter is that Democrats see Trump keeping his promises to his voting base and will stop at nothing to make him look like a racist and a failure. Durbin and Leahy should be ashamed of themselves for lying to the American people for a political agenda. I won't hold my breath waiting for an apology from either of the Democrat senators. I think their behavior is a direct result of their desperation. Liberals couldn't beat Donald Trump in the presidential election even with the help of several government agencies and Barack Obama. So many details regarding corruption on the part of former FBI Director James Comey and his assistant FBI Director Andrew McCabe have come to light that there can't be any question about their attempts to help liberals undermine Trump. However, they still haven't been able to bring him down with the Russia collusion probe being headed up by special counsel Robert Mueller. Yet, they won't keep trying, even if they have to use falsehoods and exaggerations to feign outrage. It's only a matter of time until their lies backfire on them and people start going to jail for their illegal behavior. Until then, guys like Leahy and Durbin will continue to spew garbage. Garbage.